Bonsoir à tous, bonsoir à toutes, bienvenue ce soir pour ce live un peu particulier et exceptionnel puisque ce soir je vais avoir le plaisir d'être avec un hôte de qualité, quelqu'un qui règne entre guillemets sur le monde Supercell puisqu'il est community manager pour le monde entier. Ce soir je serai donc avec Darian qui va nous faire l'honneur de répondre à vos questions que vous avez posées sur le formulaire qu'on vous avait mis à disposition. On tient d'ailleurs à vous remercier parce qu'il y a eu énormément, énormément de questions. On va traiter aujourd'hui à peu près une cinquantaine de questions qui ont été à poser en un mot par, par vous, la communauté. Et il y aura une petite session en fonction du planning de euh, questions-réponses en, euh, en direct, en fonction de, de comment le, le timing va, euh, va passer. Je vous explique comment ça va se passer au niveau, puisqu'on va être sur un mix anglais-français. Je poserai, je, tra je vous traduirai les questions, puisqu'elles vont être affichées en anglais pour, pour Darian. Je vous traduirai les questions, je poserai la question en anglais. Darian fera sa réponse, je la traduirai en français et on enchaînera comme ça. On aura aussi 5 giveaways ce soir puisque Sparta Fail et moi, et je remercie le forum d'avoir co-participé à, à cet event. On aura deux t-shirts qui vous seront offerts, un par Sparta Fail, un par moi et Supercell. Darian en, en la personne va offrir des minerais luisants. Il y aura 50 minerais luisants à gagner. Il y aura trois gagnants pour les minerais luisants. Donc maintenant, on va aller rejoindre notre, notre invité. Et on va commencer cette session. And now, we will switch to this event with the king, Darian. Hello, Darian. Welcome there on my channel. Thank you first so much for having accepted this invitation to share some of your moments with the French community. Bonsoir, mon ami. Comment allez-vous? Well, well, so good. So good in you. Ah, très bien. <laughs> yes, sorry. Darian, um, no, parlez-vous français. Sorry. <laughs> donc, <laughs> en, donc, en fait, les viewers, on va faire ça en français. Darian parle français, donc on va faire ça en français. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, thank you, thank you so much, Darian, for 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 being there. Uh, no thank you so much for uh, taking uh, taking your uh, your time. Uh, I know that you have uh, an agenda, a bit overbooked. You were uh, you were in Asia uh, last week and uh, came back on Thursday, so. Thank you so much for taking time. Uh, we can thank the community uh, because they participate also a lot with uh, quite around 60 questions. Uh, so we have made some choice uh, on them. So they have been uh, proactive on that. And uh, if you can say a, a quick word to the French community and then I will do the translation and we'll start the question. To the French community, uh, merci beaucoup. <laughs> um, I'm I would. I cannot wait to go back to visit France. Some of my best clash memories come from visiting your country. So thank you for having me. Ok, donc euh, Darian qui, euh, bah, qui n'attend qu'une chose, c'est de revenir, en, revenir visiter notre beau pays qui est la France. Euh, comme dit Darian, euh, l'un de ses plus gros souvenirs clashesques, euh, c'est euh, bien sûr cette Clash Cup qu'on avait eue en, en 2018 au stade Jean Boin où Darian était là. C'était d'ailleurs une de ses premières missions en tant, de, en tant que community manager. Et il avait apprécié cet event et il aimerait pouvoir revenir en France Peut-être un jour pour un event offline. On verra bien euh, pour la suite. Now, Darian, let's go to proceed to the question. Uh, we have put it the, I would say, the two hardest one at the beginning. And maybe a joker one and we will start by this one. I want to start by this troll. Oh. Darian. Yes. Is, is the global check coming back nowadays? No. Ok, bon, le chat général ne reviendra pas, voilà, vous avez de nouveau la réponse pour ceux qui voulaient la poser euh, tôt ou tard, le chat général ne reviendra jamais. <laughs> ok, let's go but, for... But, but well, let, me, let me add that, we are working on an improved clan recruitment uh, system. Ah, first information, first information for you, uh, première information pour vous, communauté française Supercell est en train de travailler et de, pour améliorer le système de recrutement des clans. Ça, c'est une première info que Darion est en train de, de nous lâcher. Je pense qu'il va peut-être nous lâcher des petites pépites comme ça de temps en temps ce soir. On va bien voir ce que ça va donner. Let's go for the first question, Darion. Okay, go ahead. Allez, let's go. Maybe a stupid question as a community manager. Euh, peut-être une question stupi stupide hein, pour un, un community manager. Mais est-ce que tu joues tous les jours à Clash of Clans Maybe stupid question for... A community manager for a game. Are you playing Clash of Clans every day? 
is Clash of Clans a PC game? Uh, can we say at 20%? <laughs> Well, that's true. We are now on PC, but yes, I do play every day. I have a town, almost maxed Town Hall 15. Okay, every day you are playing. Yeah, I remember that you are kicking out the other community manager if, you are, if they are not doing their uh, Clan War League attacks. I remember that. <laughs> that's why I will never play with you. <laughs> okay, donc oui, Darian, Darian joue, euh, joue tous les jours à, à Clash of Clans, même si vous avez entendu, il demandait si c'était sur PC, donc je pense qu'il est plus adepte de jeux sur PC. Il a un TH15 quasiment max, euh, donc euh, déjà pas loin du, euh, du max euh, pour... Euh, bah pour, it's strange that you are not TH16. I'm very okay. slow. Ah, I'm very, slow. very slow. Okay. Free to play? No. I do buy the gold pass and I will buy offers and we do pay for them with our actual real money. We don't get them for free. <laughs> okay. Donc voilà, il n'est pas spécialement free to play, il n'est il est pas non plus pay to win, mais il achète le, le passeur, il achète des, euh, des offres et il a bien précisé que s'ils achètent des choses, il le paye sur ses fonds propres, ce n'est pas offert par la maison Supercell. Let's go to the next question, which is maybe uh, quite an easy one. Okay. Est-ce que l'on peut visiter le headquarter uh, de Supercell can, you, can we visit the Hels Helsinki uh, headquarter de Wood City only by fan We do have people who, fans who come by asking for a tour. Yeah. We do not give public tours, but okay. if so, if we get contacted ahead of time and we're not busy, sometimes it depends on if we are in the middle of an update or if we're really busy, then usually we say no. But if we're free and we have time, maybe someone will get lucky and get a hold of me and I'll take them around the tour of the office. I've done it before. Um, I've showed people around the office before, so it de it depends on what's going on. And for sure, you can go on the on the entry and have access to the end, to the main entry without being able to go uh, to the lift. And uh, but you can have access to the to the entry of the of the Wood City. Oui, oui. Alors, la question c'était est-ce qu'on peut visiter le headquarter euh, si on est seulement fan Alors, comme dit Darian, normalement, non. Il n'y a pas de visite publique du euh, headquarter du Supercell. Comme on l'a dit à la fin, on peut cependant, si on est à Helsinki, se rendre à l'entrée du headquarter où vous aurez accès à, à, à un hall d'entrée où vous verrez ce qui s'appelle la Wood City, puisque le bâtiment est quasiment composé de, de bois. Et vous aurez accès à tout le hall d'entrée où vous pourrez voir bah, des figurines, un grand, un grand panneau où on voit souvent du, du clash Arama. Vous pourrez faire joujou avec le, le logo Supercell qui fera le, le bruit, euh, le bruit de la, du lancement de jeu. Et comme dit Larian, si de temps en temps vous avez de la chance et que vous prévenez par exemple suffisamment tôt et qu'ils ne sont pas au milieu d'une mise à jour, que ça soit, attention, on précise bien Clash Royale, Brawl Star ou Clash of Clans, parce qu'il n'y a pas que Clash of Clans, il y a aidé aussi, euh, ils peuvent si vous avez de la chance, pouvoir vous faire faire un, un tour du, euh, du headquarter. So, we are on the social aspect, hein, let's say, on the social aspect, and we will go now to the community point of view. OK We will now to the community point of view. Uh, and the first question is, est-ce qu'il y a quelque chose de prévu concernant les alliances de clans Do, are you planning something concerning the clan alliance I mean, you know, that's, since 12 years, uh, 50 people in a clan is quite small and lots of clans have more, uh, more than two, three, four, five clans. I think about, the, for example, the, the TT Flanger, uh, which is quite one of the oldest clan in, uh, in France, which has uh, six or seven clans. Are you intending something to uh, improve Uh, the communication or maybe the movement or something like that, the chat between Alliance clan by creating maybe an option in the, in the clan, in the clan uh, setup. So that, this is a very difficult question. Um, and the reason it's difficult is because when people ask for clan alliances, mm -hmm. they, they usually mean several things and very rarely Do they agree? But, and I'll let you translate that so far, but there's more to that answer. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, première partie de, première partie de la réponse, ils, ils sont conscients de, de, de ça, mais 
c'est une question qui est très compliquée à gérer en interne chez Supercell pour les alliances de clans parce qu'il n'y aura pas forcément le même point de vue entre ce que nous on attend et ce que eux peuvent proposer par exemple if you can continue with no problem sure. so every time the community asks for this feature mm -hmm. each request is very different from the other so if we were to implement one idea the other ideas or the other people might get angry that we're doing yeah. one way. So yeah. we like the idea of clan alliances, but to be honest on the team, it's not something we've talked about a lot. Yeah. And there's more to that. If you want to translate that so far. Yeah. He et il a, il, a, il, a, il a aussi un peu raison dans, dans ce que dit euh, Darian, c'est qu'on va prendre l'exemple d'un chef de clan A qui va avoir son, son idée de ce que serait une alliance pour lui, un chef de clan B va voir autre chose et une autre vision de ce que pourrait être une alliance et de ce qu'il pourrait y avoir dans les, dans les paramètres d'une alliance par exemple sur le jeu, et c'est pour ça qu'ils sont un petit peu, on va dire, euh, comment dire, frileux euh, de mettre ça en place parce que ils auraient peur qu'en en mettant quelque chose de particulier pour une alliance, certains se sentiraient euh, pas contents parce que bah, c'est pas ce qu'ils voulaient, c'est pas ce qu'ils attendaient, c'est pas comme ça qu'ils avaient vu les choses. Et c'est pour ça que c'est très, très compliqué. Et ils en ont pas parlé beaucoup avec l'équipe de développeurs parce que bah, pour eux, c'est un peu un sujet sensible. So, Let's con one way we could solve this issue by people who want to be a part of multiple clans is by creating, I guess, some kind of tag or a whitelist that allows you to join other whitelisted clans yeah. without an invitation. So for example, if you and I have a clan, if we could whitelist my account, that would let me go back and forth between both clans. Yeah. So that's one way it could work. And that's probably the simplest and most basic way alliances can work by both clans agreeing that each clan is whitelisted with each other. Beyond that, we haven't really sat down and worked on what it would mean to have clan alliances. Yeah. Because right now we want to focus on the single clan experience first and get clans, well, sorry for the joke, but make clans great again. Um, Clan sizes are getting smaller and smaller, so we need to find a way to make them exciting again before yeah. we start doing clan alliances. Yeah. Donc, euh, l'idée qu'il pourrait avoir, et je vais, je vais, je vais synthétiser euh, parce que je me suis donné un target de deux heures maximum de live pour, euh, pour euh, libérer Darian. Euh, pour synthétiser, l'idée, ça serait par exemple de créer une, une, une white list, une liste blanche, euh, par exemple, dans un, dans, dans un clan. On va prendre l'exemple de la famille TT, encore une fois, puisque j'en fais partie. Euh, bah le, un, un des chefs de clan pourrait créer une whitelist euh, en nommant euh, tous les clans euh, du, euh, de la famille et par exemple les personnes pourraient euh, <coughs> naviguer de clan en clan sans avoir besoin de recevoir d'invitation à partir du moment où le clan et le compte du joueur font partie de, de la whitelist. Cependant, Darian a fini sa, sa réponse en disant qu'ils veulent surtout maintenant se, se recentrer, se focuser sur... Euh, l'expérience du clan en lui-même, d'un clan avant de s'intégrer à une famille de clans, où là, c'est la liberté des gens de créer des familles de clans. Ils veulent surtout se recentrer sur l'aspect d'un clan pour pouvoir co commencer à les faire regrandir parce qu'on connaît la difficulté d'avoir des clans qui sont dans une taille acceptable pour qu'ils puissent refonctionner. Donc là, clairement, l'objectif de Supercell, c'est de refaire vivre un clan en partie, un clan itself, plutôt que de faire une alliance de clans dans un premier temps. And I yep, think that, that you, you are trying to understand what I am seeing because I'm watching you and you are trying to think and say, okay, what is saying? Is it something right or wrong? <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying. <laughs> okay, let's go uh, for, let's continue on the uh, community and, oops, I, I destroyed my keyboard. Oh. No, it's, uh, okay. It's there. The next question. Okay, it's a long question. Um, and I will translate it uh, in French. Um, comment a évolué uh, la communauté, l'équipe de la communauté Clash of Clans à travers uh, les années et quelle est la configuration actuelle 
Est-ce que l'on a des personnes, euh, des community managers euh, en France, euh, des membres de la communauté qui peuvent, que l'on peut contacter quand on a des questions qui ne sont pas euh, couvertes par l'assistance Par exemple, euh, l'utilisation des, des termes, euh, des, des TOS euh, Supercell ou euh, avoir des, euh, des, des supports sur le, le graphisme euh, ou créer, par exemple, un projet communautaire. Je vais prendre l'exemple, je l'ai vu sur le chat, par exemple, de Nolium avec, euh, avec la Coupe des Dons ou la Coupe des Régions ou euh, la 3F, euh, la FCL, la FCC, etc., les orgueils sports qui veulent demander du soutien de, de Supercell. So, just to, I will try to sum up a little bit the question and not, uh, not read the, the complete one. Uh, what's currently the situation uh, for uh, the French community uh, in terms of, I would say, community manager configuration Uh, I, can, I can already answer, but I will let you answer to that. And uh, as a member of the community, uh, who should I contact if I need something which is not with the assistance related? I mean, uh, for example, graphics, uh, creating content, or inquiries for creating a, a community event like a, a live, um, an esports tournament mm -hmm. or a, a big event. What, what is currently the situation? Okay, well, let's, whoa, that's a lot to unpack. Um, in terms of French community management, uh, we are looking for a French community manager. Um, and oh. we know that, yeah, we, we know that's been missing for a while. So all of the community managers at Supercell cover mm -hmm. the global game, yeah. which is English. Yeah. Um, And all of the non-English regional areas, like German, French, Spanish, Italian, all of those are done through what we call our external community managers. Um, and they are contracted community managers. So they're basically, they focus on that particular language. And we haven't had a French community manager for a while. Um, So we are in the process of looking for one because we know how ignored the French community has felt. Okay. So I will, I will start to, to I will uh, directly translate that and maybe we can go in, uh, in deeper in, in your answer, okay? Sure. Uh, <clears throat> Donc en fait, les communautés, il y a, y a les communautés d'Arian, community manager. On a Ferry aussi qui a rejoint, euh, rejoint l'équipe il n'y a pas si longtemps que ça, c'était en novembre. Donc, il y a les community managers comme Darian gèrent le jeu au niveau global anglais. En dessous, il y a ce qu'ils appellent des local community managers pour l'Espagne, pour l'Allemagne, pour l'Italie, pour la France, quand il y en a. Euh, et euh, ils savent que pour l'instant, ils ont négligé la communauté FR depuis trop longtemps. Il n'y a pas de community manager. Et autre info que nous lâche Darian, ils sont en process de recrutement pour un community manager français ou une community manager. Une community manager, bien sûr. And then if you want to add something or... What was the next question? Which, what was the next part of that question? Um... I would just... Um, uh, so it was, okay, do we have a community manager or not? And in case we do not have a community manager from now, to mm -hmm. whom should we contact if we want... For example, well, I will not take my case because we have an e easy relation with you, but... Uh, I will take the, the case of, for example, the Triple uh, F, the French Family Federation, who want to organize a tournament uh, before uh, the departure of uh, Evan um, and so on. Evan, Benoit, and Fabien, uh, they, they, they were the, the contact window for asking for gems, for example, for price, uh, for gem, uh, for cast prize in gems, or uh, for uh, uh, giveaway during the finals live stream or in-game push, for example, for the finals, because it was right. also part of their, of their job. Now, if this kind of tournaments, local one, would like to request such things, to whom, to whom they have to address their question? That's mainly the, uh, the question. Okay, so And there's two answers. One... If it is a community event, my assumption is that it, it would include um, multiple or maybe one or multiple French creators. Mm -hmm. If that's the case, then the content or the, the event producer or promoter would talk through the French content creators 
And then that would go through the French community manager. But since we don't have one, the next step is me. Okay. So for example, if you have someone, like I'm talking about you as a content creator, know of a tournament that wants to be planned, uh, mm -hmm. I would recommend, go, since you're already in the creator program, that means you already with us have a certain degree of trust. Yeah. And therefore I would prefer if someone wants to throw an event that they come together with you with a proposal, including what is the tournament for? Yeah. How many people, or what is the event for? How many people yeah. you expect to have? What kind of yeah. prizes you are looking for? Yeah. Um, it's not just, Hey, I want to do an event. Can you pay for it? It's like, we need to see proposals on what you want to do. Uh, thank um, you for the answer, because from time to time, French people understand perfectly English, and I have already, already received 25,746 DM on Discord after this question. <laughs> Maybe for supporting. No, I will, I will just translate. Um, okay. Okay. Uh, en ce moment, il n'y a pas de community manager, ce qu'explique Darian. Et là, je passe un message euh, à tous les organisateurs ou les, euh, les créateurs de, de contenu qui ne font pas partie du, euh, du programme euh, Super Créateur, euh, Supercell. Euh, si, par exemple, et je vais prendre un, des exemples particuliers, Nolium ou la 3F, puisqu'en ce moment, ils sont dans, le, dans des tournois et Nolium va, va réorganiser la Coupe des Régions. Si, par exemple, vous avez besoin de monter un dossier pour une finale, un pushing game ou un soutien en gemme pour un tournoi, etc., n'hésitez pas, et je me propose, n'hésitez pas à venir me voir, par exemple, et moi, je vous aiderai, puisque quand il n'y a pas de community manager derrière, ça passe directement au step de Darian. Et comme explique Darian, je prends mon exemple, El Chiki, Scarex, euh, Sparta Fail, pour citer les principaux créateurs de contenu français euh, qui sont super créateurs, on a, entre guillemets, une confiance avec Supercell, puisqu'on les côtoie au, au quotidien. Et on peut être votre relais si jamais vous avez besoin de créer un événement. Mais par contre, il ne faudra pas juste venir et dire euh, « Opti, j'ai besoin de 5000 gemmes et d'un in-game pour euh, le match entre Tartampion et Chaliou les Alouettes. » Non, il faudra arriver avec une structure. « Voilà, je vais organiser tel truc, tel événement, etc. » Et là, à ce moment-là, on, on pourra vous aider, nous, super créateurs, à pousser votre dossier chez Supercell. If right. they want to use, like, if they want to use images, any, and this goes for anybody in the public, we have our fan kit, which has all the images, um, all of the assets, or should have almost all of them. Yeah. Those are f free for anybody in the public to use, to put together if they want to create a website, if they want to create a tournament and so forth. So those are free but there are rules that come with them on what they are allowed to do. Like, obviously they're not to do, um, you know, Photoshop, some yeah. kind of hateful message using our troops or anything like that. Um, but we do have free assets for people who are just getting started. And then when you join the creator program, uh, if they're, a, if they are a new hungry content creator they can join our creator program and even more assets and programs unlock for them and i will share again if you uh, i i am a lot i will share again uh, nowadays on uh, one day uh, on my uh, on my discord server i will share again the link of the of the fan kit uh, it's not it's not only uh, something private between super creator it's something public so i will i will share the official uh, fan kit and i will just uh, answer awesome. uh, And, and main, mainly, okay, for, for French community, the, the graphics are made only by two or three people, three graphics designers. So they have, fortunately, the, the link of the, of the fan kit. But, mais pour, <coughs> comme dit Darien, par exemple, la question de, ah ben j'ai besoin de, j'ai besoin de, je sais pas moi, le visuel du PK ou du skin, ou du skin de la de la reine, euh, de la reine euh, un skin de reine par exemple, il y a un fan kit officiel qui existe et qui est à disposition de tout le monde. Je vous mettrai ça dans, le, dans mon Discord, je vous mettrai le lien du, euh, du fan kit euh, qui est accessible absolument à tout le monde, le fan, kit, le, le fan kit public. Donc comme ça, vous pourrez, si vous avez besoin pour du visuel et tout ça, pouvoir piocher dedans et faire euh, éventuellement des miniatures ou des, ou des propositions. Mais je sais que par exemple, Myrion euh, qui est sur le chat ou Bella euh, aussi euh, ont le fan kit et peuvent, et peuvent travailler euh, avec. Dispo euh, yes, if I remember well, the fan kit is available for all the Supercell games. 
It's it not only dedicated be, to Clash of Clans. Um, it should be fankit.supercell.com. Let me make sure. Yeah, fankit.supercell.com, and it's the fan kit for all of our games. Yeah, I will put uh, I will put the the link right now. Let me make sure. Let me test it from my browser really quick, just to make sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I have it. It's it's yep. it's that one. Cookie and there's pass. a link. There's a link to the Supercell fan content policy on that page as well. Yeah, I'm I'm just sharing it right now on the on the chat. Um, I guess we answered almost to to all the part of the question, so you, we can go on the on the next one for the community. If you agree, I guess. Ah, that's an interesting one. That one. That's an interesting one. And I will translate it in a, in a, I will translate it in French. Right. Comment allez-vous gérer le lancement des nouveaux hôtels de ville? Parce que si on suit le, la chronologie de lancement des hôtels de ville, il va y avoir de moins en moins de joueurs max. Euh, et les joueurs max vont être de plus en plus vieux alors que les jeunes joueurs ne seront jamais capables d'être max. There is two questions in fact in, the, in, in, in that one. Is the first one is how will you manage and you can reply or not. You have the right to say I can't. Uh, how will you manage in the near future the new re the release of the new town hall? So Ooh, how do I say this? Um, <laughs> Without spoiling, not too much. <laughs> we are going to have more updates more frequently, yeah. which means new town halls will come faster. Information important. De Darian. Ils vont faire des mises à jour de plus en plus rapprochées, ce qui veut dire qu'il y aura des nouveaux HDV de plus en plus Souvent. Then I, I take this first part of the answer to jump to the next uh, part of the question. Uh, then, if you are launching more and more TH with a shorter period of time, it means that it will be fewer and fewer max player. How Why? will it be possible for? It just imagine. I'm I'm starting Clash of Clans today. How? Can I expect to be one day a max tone hall if you are reducing the window between two TH? Just a question. So I have the fortunate advantage of saying we don't know yet because we're not there yet. But as we add more town hall levels, we are going to fa have to face that situation. Um, If someone starts, let's say we release Town Hall 50, yeah. and someone starts, that distance from 1 to 50 is much longer than from 1 to 16. Yeah. So we need to find a way to make people still excited to progress. Um, and right now, you know, nobody wants to wait two weeks for their one thing to update upgrade. Uh, so we need to find a way to what's well, solve that issue yeah. of adding more town halls with a longer road. Yeah. Um, it's one of the biggest topics of discussion on the clash team right now. Yeah. Uh, because it's, we don't need it just yet, but we will in the very near future. Okay, I will, I, will, I, will, I will try to sum up what, all, all the things what you said. Uh, ils, ils sont conscients euh, que euh, la personne qui euh, commence le jeu aujourd'hui et qui euh, doit aller au TH16 euh, aura euh, moins de temps que quelqu'un qui commencera dans trois ans, par exemple, et qu'on sera au TH50. C'est un exemple euh, tout con. N'interprétez pas que dans trois ans, on sera au TH50, surtout. Euh, ils en sont conscients. Ils sont aussi conscients, par exemple, que deux semaines d'amélioration pour, euh, pour un bâtiment, c'est un peu trop long. Peut-être petite information que nous lâche Darian en, en sous-marin, mais voilà, ils en sont conscients. Ils sont en train de travailler sur le sujet avec l'équipe de développement et ils vont travailler sur ces, euh, cette balance qui est, encore une fois, compliquée où 
And I will just uh, explain to you what I'm saying right now in English and you will tell me uh, your point of view. C'est yep. le même cas euh, que la méta en attaque, en fait. Il y a une balance à trouver entre les nouveaux niveaux de l'HDV, le temps d'amélioration qu'il y a besoin et continuer de capter les petits HDV qui, eux, doivent encore progresser et leur permettre de garder l'attrait du jeu. Ce qu'il est peut-être en train de nous dire indirectement, and maybe what, what you are telling in, uh, it's a, in Submarine is... Peut-être que demain, il y aura du contenu pour les plus petits niveaux d'HDV pour permettre justement de continuer de captiver les, les petits niveaux d'HDV et les continuer de progresser. Mais encore une fois, c'est comme une compo d'attaque, c'est comme la, la balance attaque-défense. Il y a un compromis à trouver et ils font des choix. Ça peut plaire, ça peut ne pas plaire, c'est comme tout. Mais voilà, ils sont en train de travailler sur le sujet. I was saying that it's a bit like, you know, like the meta between the, the balance between the defense and the attack. You have to make some compromise uh, between the time to upgrade and how to uh, not having, you know, oh, I'm tier 16, I need three hours to do the, the new uh, level of uh, scattershot or, uh, or monolith. Uh, it's, it's a question of balance. Maybe and also the things could be to give also some, uh, I would say, upgrade to the lower tone hall, as you did, for example, in November for the, for the equipment. For example, from TH8, which so is there, we, we may look at ways for people to skip town hall levels. Um, I don't know. I, and this is again, this is not guaranteed or confirmed. Hmm. We are just thinking about ways that we can make that path faster. Yeah. Okay. Ils sont, en train, ils sont donc en train de, de regarder comment, justement, bah, faire cette balance euh, entre bah, le nombre d'HDV qui arrive depuis maintenant 12 ans. Hein, on vous rappelle que euh, Clash of Clans va arriver, si je ne dis pas de bêtises, dans sa 13e année. Hein, euh, et euh, ils doivent, euh, ils doivent bah, justement avoir cette, euh, cette balance. Ils, ils cherchent le chemin pour pouvoir bah, continuer de mettre des niveaux d'HDV, mais pour autant ne pas perdre ceux qui commencent Clash of Clans depuis maintenant euh, ou il y a six mois et, et se dire oh, putain je commence Clash of Clans c'est l'HDV 17 j'en verrai jamais le bout ou l'HDV 18 ou l'HDV 19 ou même l'HDV 16 voilà ils en sont dans ce dans ce dans ce dans ce mindset là I'm just looking if I see some comment uh, on the on the chat uh... oh okay to you. Ok, guys, nerf, just, uh, just read something, nerf root rider, please. I, I've been reading the comments as well, and just that's why if you see my screen flicker, I'm yeah. copying, pasting some of the comments into Google Translate, just okay. to read what's going on. <laughs> no, but uh, I, 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 will, I will just, uh, quick, uh, okay, they, are, they have introduced the new troops, uh, like it was for the, electro, uh, the ET, uh, some mm -hmm. times ago, and... Don't ask to nerf something when something is happening, guys. It's, it's totally crazy. But let's say that's not part of the question. It will be some part of the question later on in the, in the live. I mean, Then, they can ask. They can ask. I may not have an answer yeah. for them, but they're more than welcome to ask. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ask uh, don't mean that it will be a positive answer. <laughs> um, now we are moving to the esports session, but... Before that, I would like to remind that it will be some, some giveaway. So I will do it in French because it's a French community. I'm just, just do it in English. Il va y avoir cinq giveaways ce soir. Il y aura deux t-shirts, un offert par moi-même, un offert par Spartafail qu'on prend avec nos, nos, nos points de créateur pour vous les offrir. Et il y aura euh, des minerais luisants qui sont offerts par, euh, par Darian. Ça sera 50 minerais luisants. Il y aura trois gagnants. On va faire le premier giveaway. Ça va durer... 5 petites minutes pour faire le tirage au sort, vous allez devoir taper point d'exclamation Darian et ça sera pour gagner un t-shirt le premier giveaway. I will launch the giveaway and then we will start and we will switch to the esports section. Alrighty. Let's go, esports section, first question. Euh, Est-ce que vous planifiez quelque chose pour promouvoir la scène esport Do you plan to do something to promote or to give more promotion to the esports scene? Promotion in what way? I had the question like that, you know, I did not ask to the, to the question, uh, to, the, to the people, but I mean, uh, maybe, you know, 
giving more more visibility uh, to to tournament maybe accepted DSL one and uh, and the Clash World qualifier and the Clash World Championship maybe a system to to give more more visibility maybe on the esports scene. I know that the question is quite large, but uh, I don't have clearly the the mind of the the mind of the of the question. That's my I would say understanding of the question. Okay. Um, our esports program, at least from the when we first started it, was not meant to be like a League of Legends or Call of Duty or StarCraft or any tournament like or any kind of esports like that. It was always meant to be an esport for the everyday Clash player, which means anybody from the community if they have the skill, can compete and win. It would be great if we can get the esports scene to be much more recognized. Yeah. Um, but outside of you know doing sponsorship deals, like there's very little promotion we can do from our end other than produce and market the event and have you content creators involved in it. Um, but it's always going to be at its heart specifically for the players. Yeah. Okay. I will just uh, translate. À la base, quand ils ont créé l'e-sport sur Clash of Clans, ils n'ont jamais eu l'ambition de devenir des, euh, on va dire, des jeux e-sport. Alors déjà, ma, ma vision, c'est que for, for me, Clash of Clans is not e-sport ready. That's my vision. Uh, compared to a league of, a lol or a call of duty even if call of duty is not esport ready uh, mais ils n'ont jamais eu l'ambition de devenir des uh, sur la scène esport comme est un lol comme est un, un counter strike ou uh, un, co un call of duty etc voilà eux leur ambition c'était de créer de l'esport pour tout type de joueur à partir du moment où le joueur a un niveau de pouvoir jouer I will take the, the opportunity. I understand what you, 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 you mean, but at the end, world, the World Championship was in 2019. Uh, now we are in 2024. Uh, maybe one day we'll have an announcement for, for this year program in a, in a sports scene for a World Championship. Uh, I understand, and we understand that you thought to uh, have a way that everybody can play. But when you are looking for the World Championship, the main tournament which is, exists currently, I mean, the Kezo Cup, the Clash Master, the CW, CWL, it's always the same team part of that. Always. So I understand that you want to have the sport accessible for everybody, but at the end, it's always the same team that we are, we are we are we are looking for but how many each year the team members are different oh it may every, be every year teams, almost every single year which is just a natural part of whether it's esports or normal sports mm -hmm. teams change which means anybody can come up and join one of those teams now of course the teams with the biggest sponsors are going to find the biggest talent to win. Yeah. That's a natural part of sports. Yeah. But we don't have, for example, training camps like many other esports games do, where the players go and train at a particular building and all they do is spend playing them every every day of their lives. Yeah. The Clash Esports uh, event was supposed to be anybody can compete maybe they'll get picked by a a big team yeah but it's pretty much approachable that by anybody whether you're playing on an iphone or an ipad anybody can get there yeah okay i will try to sum up that in french um euh, donc oui, il disait euh, oui, regardez tous les ans les, les changements de joueurs euh, que l'on a dans les équipes. C'est vrai qu'on a une on a on a une rotation des joueurs dans les dans les équipes 
entre guillemets pro, euh, que ce soit Navi, euh, Feu, Strut, Tribe Gaming, c'est vrai que les line-up changent quand même assez souvent. Euh, il reconnaît aussi que bah, ces structures-là qui ont un peu plus de moyens financiers euh, que bah, des équipes, on va dire, de, du day-to-day -day, euh, peuvent se, entre guillemets, payer euh, des joueurs et recruter des nouveaux talents. Euh, mais euh, leur approche a toujours été de pouvoir faire de l'e-sport pour tout le monde. Maintenant, voilà, c'est comme partout, il y a l'évolution qui se fait, l'attrait aussi financier se fait. Et après, ça devient, entre guillemets, une course à l'échelle. I will translate because I'm adding some comments from, uh, from what you said. It's, it's in fact, the, the, everywhere, in fact, when you are adding competition uh, and spo uh, team sponsored with a structure uh, like Tribe Gaming, uh, Navi, uh, VM Legacy in France, uh, Strut, uh, rest in peace for Strut, but, uh, uh, or Repotted Gaming. Uh, after that, it, it always become Like, I would say, like a, a question of, of money. After that, you... Okay, this structure can take the people from the lower stage to grow up at a yeah. higher level. But after, yeah, the team are changing and it's, you know, going... The, the players are also going where the offer is the best one in terms of, of I would say, not salary because I, I'm, I'm not, I don't know if a, a player is, uh, is able to have a salary from, uh, from Clash of Clans uh, esports. But, you know, after that, it's always question of money and uh, a small structure, will, for example, a, a small French structure will never be able to compete versus a Tribe Gaming or a Navi Vincere. Why not? It's a question of money. But apart from the world finals, yeah, all of the qualifiers are largely online. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah, after that, you know, the player is is doing is 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 building a wall to say, wow, I will never be able to beat Sante. I will never be able to beat Stars. I will. I'm, I don't have the level to beat. Uh, Uh, the clash champs or, 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 or whoever you, you, you think about. But uh, after that, it's a, it's a question of, uh, of wall that the guy is building, you know. But at the end, we have all two, uh, two arms and two ends, so it could be uh, just a question of skills. But yeah, I know that, and I will switch in French. Uh, C'est clair que, comme dit Darian, uh, mis à part les Worlds qui sont en offline, uh, tous les autres tournois sont en offline. Donc c'est vrai que tout le monde peut participer. Après, on est en train de prendre du temps sur la question uh, qui était comment promouvoir la scène e-sport. Donc uh, la question était assez vague, mais on prend du temps pour discuter. Je trouve ça, je trouve ça assez, uh, assez intéressant, mais c'est un débat. It's, it's a debate we can do it during hours, days, months. Yeah. So, OK, the question was quite large. Uh, and we didn't because you know we had requested and it was free for the guy to put his name or not on the on the on the on the formulaire for for even maybe contacting him and we didn't have the um, the, the name for for his question so um, then let's go to the next question if you are okay right. uh, Diane yeah absolutely okay still in his sport is anything or something planned, because anything is negative, but is something planned to avoid the 15-15 in esports, like banning said certain overheat heroes' abilities? Can you clarify what you mean by overheat? I mean, <clears throat> I would take the, uh, the gauntlet. It's overpowered. It's something crazy. That's because it's bugged right now. <laughs> um <laughs> once it's fixed let's let's revisit if it's overpowered or not once we fix that bug now out other than that you know hero equipments are still very brand new compared yeah. to the rest of the game that means we're always looking at it to see if things need to be balanced um how this will affect esports We have we don't know yet because we haven't started the qualifiers yet. Yeah. Uh, so we can only make changes once we see a problem. It's very difficult to see the problem coming and make changes before that. Yeah. Okay. So you are waiting. Uh, you are waiting. Maybe the first qualifier to decide if if something have to be done or not. Right. 
Ok. Donc, ce que, ce que dit Darian, hein, c'est que... Ok, euh, on va, je lui ai parlé du, du, gantelet, euh, du, gantelet, du, du gantelet géant, hein, euh, comme, euh, qui est, par exemple, <rire> cheaté pour l'instant. Pour l'instant, il y a un bug qui va être corrigé euh, dans, le, dans, 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 dans un futur euh, lointain ou proche. On n'a pas l'info. Mais... Euh, pour l'instant, ils, ils, ils réfléchissent toujours, et c'est ce que je vous expliquais, ils réfléchissent toujours à une balance entre l'attaque et la défense. Les équipements sont assez nouveaux dans le jeu. C'est arrivé au mois, de, au mois de novembre. Et là, ils se laissent encore un peu le temps, par exemple, d'aller jusqu'au qualifier, où là, pour l'instant, I mean, just switching, je reformule, je repose une petite question à Darian. I just mean that, uh, currently, with the current tournament, I mean, you don't see the necessity to do something you would like to wait for the first qualifier to see if it's finishing all the war by a 15-15 with a time breaker at each game, for example. Um, Oops, excuse me. It's, it's really difficult to comment on hypothetical issues. Yeah. Like things that may not happen maybe they will happen we do have people watching the higher leagues of yeah. the clan war leagues yeah. to see what the hit rate is there if and usually if we see a problem with the multiplayer battles with the meta it's very possible that that same problem can reach the esports level so okay. Hopefully we can catch it as it's happening and not wait until after the first qualifier. But again, it comes down to just data. Like, I don't know what the data looks like right now. That's yeah. for people far smarter than me. Um, but they're the ones watching it and they are keeping an eye on everything regarding the meta. Okay. So just to translate, en fait, ce que, ce que, ce que dit Darian, c'est qu'ils ont des gens en interne chez eux à Supercell qui regardent ce qui se passe sur le plus haut niveau de, clan, de, de ligue de clan, hein, donc la, C, la C1, la champion 1, et regardent s'il y a des choses qui leur paraissent incohérentes ou pas. Comme dit Darian, on ne va pas agir sur quelque chose d'hypothétique euh, pour faire une correction euh, d'un potentiel problème alors qu'il n'y en a peut-être pas. Oui, il y a le bug du, euh, du gantelet, mais pour l'instant, voilà. Supercell estime qu'il n'y a pas de nécessité à faire quelque chose, je dis bien dans l'immédiat. Next question. Don't right. hesitate, uh, je, just, dans le chat, si sur un moment dans une, dans, donné dans une question, vous avez une remarque ou un complément que vous souhaiteriez avoir, n'hésitez pas à mettre la question dans le chat, mais surtout taguez moi pour que je puisse la voir, s'il vous plaît. En plus, j'ai mis le chat en mode lent toutes les minutes. Comme ça, ça permet de ne pas avoir de spam. Donc, n'hésitez pas à me taguer si vous avez un complément de question sur une des questions qu'on vient de discuter avec Darian. So, I don't think there's a way to perfectly make both sides happy. Yeah. Um, but we have started discussing how do we keep players who are hardcore competition, how do, they keep, how do we keep them happy while making sure casual players can still progress and enjoy the game um, and still feel like they're winning. We have discussed maybe one idea that we're discussing is like an esports mode where yeah. there are certain handicaps like a reduction to damage done by troops or reduction to defense hit points um, just to make it much more challenging for the hardcore players while keeping the normal game itself for the casual players. Now, I'll continue after you translate that. Yeah, yeah, no, but that's always the, the debate, and we discuss a bit uh, before the before the live starts, uh, Darian. That's always uh, what I'm saying to the community, and I will do it in French. Ils ont cette balance à trouver entre le tryharder, le joueur e-sport, le entre guillemets pro player, et le casual, celui qui joue entre ses trois clopes le matin, euh, qui joue euh, dans sa pause du midi et qui fait sa petite attaque le soir devant, euh, devant Touche pas mon poste ou les, euh, Touche pas mon pote ou les infos ou juste avant de regarder la série de Netflix avec Madame ou quand les enfants sont couchés. Il y a ces deux mondes-là sur Clash of Clans. Et là où Supercell est toujours en train d'essayer de trouver la balance entre les deux, c'est comment permettre aux tryharders de s'épanouir euh, dans ce jeu en n'étant pas trop facile, mais comment en même temps permettre aux joueurs casual de tous les jours 
bah, de ne pas avoir à se dire « Putain, aujourd'hui, j'ai encore fait un 2 stars 75%, j'arrive pas à faire un 3 étoiles en guerre, j'arrive pas à faire un 3 étoiles en légende. » C'est cette balance-là qui est vraiment très, très compliquée. Mais ça, je vous le répète tout le temps et à chaque fois qu'on a ce débat sur, euh, sur mes lives. Et juste pour la question des Friendly War pour les joueurs e-sport, ne vous inquiétez pas, la question a été posée, Darian y répondra. Sorry, so on I, I, top of that, yeah. we may also look at ways of changing normal clan wars for example adding different modifiers like i don't know meteors falling from the sky or floods wash over the battlefield in the normal clan wars just to make things interesting and then we keep the esports clan war league mode the way it is now so that way the casual players are more likely to play the normal clan wars and we keep the esports mode Competitive for clan war leagues. Again, these are very early discussions, but they are stuff that we are planning to do at some point. You are planning to change the normal uh, war clan? You know, not not planning to change it, but planning to address the difference between the esports players and the casual players. Okay. Donc il y a un système qui est en qui est en qui est en cours de en cours d'étude chez chez Supercell pour vraiment différencier bah, les les CWL qui est pour moi la semaine la plus chiante à, à souhait de, de Clash of Clans, et euh, les euh, clans normal, euh, les guerres de clans normal pour permettre aux joueurs, on va dire casual, de s'amuser là où euh, on a les, les, euh, les, les clans de League qui sont plutôt compétitives et entre guillemets réservées à l'e-sport quand on arrive à un certain niveau. Uh, I will uh, just look for the next question, but maybe to not to... Uh... Ok, I will, I, will I will just go to, to that one. Uh, but it was, we, we almost maybe uh, answer to that, but I will translate in French, ok uh, Les sure. joueurs e-sports se plaignent uh, depuis très très longtemps uh, que le jeu est trop simple. Uh, pendant que uh, les uh, joueurs casual uh, bah, s'en réjouissent. Um, Pensez-vous pensez qu'avec l'arrivée du THS, on peut, entre guillemets, séparer euh, l'e-sport euh, du, euh, du casual, euh, par exemple en faisant un, un standard euh, compétitif hein, avec euh, pas de super troupes ou ajouter des autres régulations. Uh, we have just been started to discuss about this, uh, this question a uh, few seconds ago. You anticipated the next one, uh, Darian. Uh, yeah, e-sports players are complaining that the game is too easy. Um, where uh, the casual one are clearly enjoying it. I'm a casual player and I'm enjoying the TH16. Do you uh, forecast to maybe make, and you already answered that you will have, yeah. you are thinking about the concept to uh, have Clan War League for, I would say, esports and normal Clan War for casual one. I don't know how it will be. That's a beginning um, of, uh, of an answer, I, I, but... Uh, I, I didn't say no more clan wars for casual players. No, no, no. No, no, I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that. But you will do see, uh, clan war league more com enfin, more dedicated to esports. That's my understanding. I would say. It's more like providing a competitive way for hardcore players to prove their skills yeah while still having modes for casual players to to basically improve their game yeah okay yeah after that once again it will be the balance to find between uh, i would say normal uh, normal war and uh, and clown war league because we know also that casual players like to play CWL because of medals <laughs> right So, yeah, it will, once again, it will be something to find and so creating something for having both parties happy. And good luck. <laughs> Alors, encore une fois, voilà, que, comme dit Darian, euh, voilà, ils, veulent, euh, ils veulent que les CWL, euh, entre guillemets, soient compétitifs et que les gens casual s'amusent sans pour autant que les casual ne puissent pas faire de CWL. C'est pas ce que Darian a dit. On pourra toujours continuer à faire des CWL. Mais encore une fois, c'est une balance à trouver. Et tell me if I'm wrong, Darian, but I think that today, e-sport e community is what? Two, 
three percent of the of the total player of Clash of Clan. So, a prox. I actually don't. I don't know what the percentage is. Um, but it's. I. I believe it's. It's under ten percent. Yeah. So it means that you have to make a choice. Either are you give favor favorites to 10% of the community and then you will lose 90% or uh, you have to find a mix to make everybody into bracket happy with the game. But, That's And the, one of the challenges is that even though they make they make the smallest percentage, yeah. if we if we only think about the other 90%, it makes it so much easier for that one that that ten percent to three star every time. Yeah, we have to make it difficult enough for the esport players, but easy enough for the casual players. It's a very yeah. difficult line to walk. Yeah, en fait, la ligne jaune, et c'est ce qu'il est en train de dire, c'est que il doit faire un jeu qui soit suffisamment compliqué pour les joueurs esports qui ont un skill qui qui dépasse le, le, le skill du joueur casual pour euh, avoir des attaques compétitives et de niveau mais en même temps de faire un jeu qui soit suffisamment simple pour que bah, le joueur lambda Darian ou moi par exemple soyons capables de faire des trois étoiles euh, en guerre de clan en CWL en ligue légende et c'est vraiment c'est cette ligne jaune qui est vraiment très très dure à positionner et croyez-moi que personnellement j'aimerais pas être à leur place. I would I wouldn't be at your place when it's a discussion of balance change or new tone all new troops and so on. I wouldn't be at your place to say okay guys uh, we will not make stars happy uh, but uh, yeah I will be happy because I will be able to triple uh, for for the next update. But We do rely on your feedback, meaning the content creators and also the players. We rely on that feedback to help us improve it. This is why we have our content creators as part of our program yeah. able to play test a lot of the stuff early. Um, it's because we rely on your feedback to help us identify where it may be either too hardcore or too easy. And a good example is when we were testing the apprentice warden um it was the player the pro players and the youtubers who spotted a lot of issues with the troop causing us to redesign it yeah Oops, yeah that, that that's also way yeah, part part of uh, just i would answer to a question i've seen a few few minutes ago darian boit de l'eau c'est de l'eau qu'il a dans son verre it's it's water inside your glass hein? uh, it's not yeah, uh, yeah no, it's else. water <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> donc je, voilà uh, Uh, and, on va, and we will have to speed up a bit because uh, we have made uh, eight questions over the 55 in one hour. <laughs> okay. um, should we? Yeah. Why, why don't we do the one about random, was it free, uh, the friendly wars and random wars at the same time? D that's a lot of questions. And it was a question inside. Uh, inside yeah. uh, I, I will try to find it. Uh, okay, we have almost. Um, we will. Uh, okay. Uh, we, we, if we find them, uh, we will then switch. So, yes, the main question, and we'll do it right now. Uh, yep. Yeah, is there something scheduled uh, forecasted for player playing esports to be able to, give, to, to earn ores? Because, yeah, currently, I imagine, for example, Strut, uh, Navi, Navi, or whatever, they are playing every day uh, esports match, not able to do any random war, how to max their equipment without a small plastic card uh, if they are not able to earn or So, yeah, the, the big question is, are you intending to allow to do friendly war during a, a, a random war as it is possible during the, the clan war league right now no because of how the unique war tags work mm -hmm. in the game changing it would require a massive redesign of the entire game so right now the workaround is i believe you can do a clan war or clan war league in one clan Yeah. And then do a friendly war in a different clan. Yeah. That's that currently, yes, because the clan war league have not been built on the same, I would say, area of the of the of the normal war and friendly challenge. But right. the we know that, but the question is tomorrow, 
when I say tomorrow, it's uh, tomorrow or in uh, some weeks, people would be able to would like to be able to do random war and do a friendly war in another clan. Right. That's the question. Because all the team who is playing esports mm -hmm. have multiple clans. They have the normal clan where they are spending their days, and then they have another clan dedicated to esports when they are spending their evening be, uh, doing battle versus other teams. So the question and the request, and I guess not only for the French community, is please, can you do something for being able to do a random war and at the same time being, being able to go outside in another clan to do a friendly war? Being able, or sorry, rephrase, wanting to do it and being able to do it are different things. We want to do it. We want to be able to provide players more ways to be able to do wars, keep yeah. them active. What's preventing us right now is the systems that have been built from the game for 12 years ago. Yeah. Uh, so we do have teams looking into it, but it's still very, very early discussion. Um, to be brutally honest, as we mentioned earlier, the pro player scene is such a small percentage that right now we have to prioritize on what we can make that will affect the biggest part of the community. Yeah. Um, and then we will try to make sure we include the pro players in it. Okay. Uh, donc oui, c'est en étude. Maintenant, comme a dit Darian, uh, Clash of Clans est un jeu qui a 12 ans d'âge. Euh, je ne suis pas expert en informatique, mais je pense que les codes il y a 12 ans n'étaient pas les codes qui sont maintenant et les capacités qu'on a maintenant de coder un jeu. Donc clairement, voilà, la CW est apparue beaucoup plus tard, donc elle est, on va dire, sur une autre branche de l'arbre, là où les guerres de clans et les Friendly Wars sont sur la même branche. Et pour l'instant, ils sont en train de discuter, de voir pour pouvoir justement refaire une autre branche pour éventuellement être en mesure de faire des guerres de clans et des Friendly Wars en même temps. C'est en cours d'étude, on n'a pas de date d'arrivée, mais ça arrivera peut-être un jour. Uh, let's take... Uh, and, and, and yes, you did that. And just... Souvenez-vous, Clash of Clans a 12 ans. C'est la même chose pour une voiture. Une voiture qui a 12 ans n'a pas les mêmes fonctionnalités qu'une voiture qui arrive maintenant, parce que les méthodes... De, et je travaille dans le milieu, donc je sais de quoi je parle. Les... Uh, les méthodes de développement ont changé, les technologies ont changé et vous ne pourrez jamais mettre dans une R25 ce qu'il y a maintenant dans une Tesla Model Y. C'est impossible. C'est impossible. It's not, it's not impossible. We can do it. We just haven't started. Yeah. No, but I, I was thinking uh, the, the, the biggest uh, side of the, of the example, I was saying that uh, if you maybe know, uh, if you know the Renault 20, 25, it's an old car, very old car, and uh, you take the Tesla Model Y, uh, the design and the development of each car don't allow to put the technology of the Model Y into the, the, the old Renault, which was uh, 30 years ago. I'm working in automotive, and I know that uh, a, a car developed 10 years ago are not able to have what we are introducing now in the in the automotive market because of everything has changed quite fast and it's the same for for coding a, a game so yeah we know that and we understand that you are looking for that you can't promise a date you can't promise it's possible but you are looking for yes okay euh, merci à tous ceux qui offrent les subs. Hein. Je ne vous réponds pas, mais je vois les notifications. Merci en tout cas à tous. So let's go to the next, que next question. Are you... Alors, êtes-vous... Um, vous, why vous why super... don't we start with yeah. 15? What? Um, do, we, do you want to get to start talking about gameplay questions? Yeah, well, yeah, because I guess on each sports, uh, I will look... Uh, Yeah, we have almost, almost uh, discussed all the... Currently, it's impossible to do friendly war. This is the question. Yeah, uh, yeah. so uh, we will go and we... we yeah. Ah, it was a, a, an interesting question. Uh, it was, do you intend to um, remain on the max TH level or can we expect to have, I would say, lower TH uh, Clash World, for example? 
now one day. For us, our esports will always be about proving who is the best of the best. Yeah. And that means, you know, end game level content. Um, yeah. And I, um, for now, our vision is only end game content because what we want to do from our side as a game developer is we want to encourage people to upgrade. Yeah. If we created a bunch of content such as a town hall 10 tournament that happened every year, there's going to be a set of players who will only remain at that town hall yeah. because there's no reason for them to upgrade if they can compete at that level. Yeah. Clash of Clans at its heart is always about progression first. Now, community creators can make their own Town Hall 8, Town Hall 10, Town Hall 13 tournaments. But from us, it's always going to be endgame. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I mean, I see the, uh, the answer, for example, for Lilou did. ESL is having TH9 and TH12 cups. Yes, but it's outside of Supercell. I mean, the question was, inside Supercell, do you, do you forecast to extend the Clash World to TH10? And I will translate your answer. Le, yep. le but de Supercell, c'est d'avoir l'e-sport au plus haut niveau du niveau d'HDV euh, pour, pour le game. <coughs> Donc, clairement, ce qu'ils ce qu ne veulent pas faire, c'est de faire un, un Clash World pour les TH9, les TH10, les TH11, les TH12, etc. Parce qu'ils ont peur qu'à bah, un moment donné, la personne, elle va arriver TH10 et elle va rester TH10 parce qu'elle aime bien faire les Clash World en TH10. Non, le but du jeu, c'est quand même de se maxer. C'est pour ça que les championnats du monde officiels Clash of Clans seront toujours sur le dernier niveau de TH. Maintenant, comme dit Darian, libre à des euh, structures comme l'ESL, par exemple, ou la Clash Master, qui, la, qui avait fait la Roche. ou la Roche.GG Cup, euh, qui avait créé euh, un mini championnat du monde des euh, plus petits niveaux d'HDV qui était allé du euh, 5 au euh, 15, si je me souviens bien. So we will move to the to the gameplay. I will just um, give a well, uh, congrats sure. to Alenas who win the first shirt offer, uh, offered by Sparta fail. I will contact him in, um, in, uh, in private to, uh, to request him to, do, to contact uh, Sparta and we will do uh, right after the, the giveaway for the, for the Glovy Ors. Uh, let's go to the gameplay. Uh, okay. Alors, à travers les années, beaucoup de troupes ont été ajoutées au jeu. Avez-vous été surpris euh, par l'utilisation que certains joueurs ont fait de ces, euh, ont fait de ces troupes pour, pour tripler des bases. Euh, Est-ce que les bêta-testeurs avaient, avaient pensé à, cette, à ces stratégies, par exemple, qui ont été mises en place euh, et qui vous ont fait faire des, 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 des équilibrages So, over the years, uh, you have added a lot of troops, okay, uh, with a lot which are not used uh, almost anymore, but that's uh, another uh, topic. Uh, have you been surprised Uh, to see how players are using them to be able to triple a base. Um, are, are, I, know, I, I imagine that you, I assume that you have some people trying the new troops in advance internally in Supercell. Mm -hmm. Have these people been surprised of the way used for these troops and which sometimes occur Uh, to a balance change because it has been then discovered as over cheated or too much powerful or, or, or something like that. Very troops, rarely. Troops or spell. Troops or yeah. spell. Okay. Okay. So very rarely do troops played by the public. It's very rare that it surprises us when players do something because we usually get that feedback from the content creators and the pro players. Yeah. Um, and a good example is the apprentice warden. Yeah. When we first were doing the testing, we thought we could not find a use for it, but it was the beta pro players who found one strategy that was absolutely broken. And it was, all, it was a strategy pretty much only pro players could do, but it was so broken that we had to change it. Um, but that doesn't really answer your question. So I'll let you translate that first. Yeah. Uh, il, il prend l'exemple de l'apprenti de l'apprenti gardien qui au début avait été fait d'une certaine façon, conçu d'une d'une certaine d'une certaine façon, et il a été testé par par certains uh, pro players. Et, et comme dit Darian, ils avaient trouvé une façon uh, de l'utiliser qui était totalement broken. 
Et euh, du coup, ça les a euh, obligés à totalement revoir le mode de fonctionnement de l'apprenti gardien. Donc oui, euh, ils, ils agissent. And let's go to, to the rest of your uh, answers. Um, there have been some instances that even surprised us after we had the beta testers. And the two most obvious examples... One is the bat spell. Yeah. Uh, we play tested internally quite a few times. We even had our YouTubers test it during when we helped, when we had you guys create the sneak peeks. But it, once it was released to the public, we realized it was way overpowered because we can now see millions of attacks instead of just hundreds of attacks. So. Yeah. These kinds of things pop up only when we see it in large numbers. The same thing goes for, I think everybody knows which troop I'm talking about, Lava Loon. Yeah. Again, we play tested a lot, but it wasn't until we started seeing people using it over and over and over again that it surprised us. Yeah. And, and Lava Loon is maybe the only strategy who passed the TH9, TH9 to now without big nerf or big buff, uh, it's almost a valuable uh, army to use, quite complicated to use. It's not uh, at the end to, for everybody uh, to play with. But uh, yeah, I will translate what you said. Uh, sure. Ce qu'il faut, qu faut savoir, uh, je ne rentrerai pas dans le détail pour ne pas casser mon NDA, mais c'est qu'avant une mise à jour, il y a des tests. Donc nous, créateurs de contenu, nous testons les mises à jour en avance. Euh, mais nous sommes sur des quantités euh, restreintes. Il n'y a pas 5000 personnes qui testent la nouvelle troupe, il n'y a pas 5000 personnes qui testent les nouveaux sorts. Et parfois, bah, l'éditeur, en faisant tester un petit comité, ne se rend pas compte de ce que cela peut devenir quand ça rentre à grande échelle. Et c'est souvent ce qui se passe avec une troupe, quand, et il a pris l'exemple du sort de Bad, qui, quand il est sorti, bah, était... Overcheaté, tout le monde se souvient du, du Bad Dralun qui rasait en TH12 absolument toutes les bases. Et c'est pour ça que le sort de Bat a pris après des équilibrages. Mais ce qu'il faut savoir, c'est qu'il n'y a, a pas 500 000 personnes qui testent les, qui, qui, qui testent les, les nouveautés. Just, I, I'm saying, uh, uh, Darian, it's not half a million of, of people who are testing the, the new troops and the new, the new balance change. We are, we are a few lucky people. Uh, and it's part of the of the privilege of uh, of a super creator for uh, for being able to do that and also the pro player to to test the the the, the, the new troops the new uh, tone hall and so on you have the pro player aspect who is giving their their advice you have me for example as a casual one telling you uh, oh it's complicated it's over uh, it's overpowered or whatever but it's a very small quantity i will gi not give you the exact number But it's a very small quantity. And then, et, et donc, and then I switch back in French. Et donc, quand le jeu sort à grande échelle, ben c'est là qu'il découvre des choses. Et quand, par exemple, on va prendre l'exemple du sort de Bad, qui est le plus bel exemple, quand ce sort-là est, est sorti, il était totalement broken et ils ont réagi très vite. Donc, euh, oui, il y a des tests. Des fois, ils sont surpris. I, I think also, you have been maybe surprised by the Scully Donuts. Who in Supercell thought that somebody will be able to take uh, the monolith, for example, the Eagle Artillery and the Clan Castle with uh, five invisible spells, uh, fi uh, five uh, skull uh, spells and one rage? So we, even though we make the game, we can never predict how yeah. you players are going to use it. Uh, and this is why we never tell people how to play the game because it's the creativity like that that makes it interesting. So any new idea that you guys come up with is going to be surprising to us. Yeah. Et, et ce que vient de dire Dar Darian, et après, après ça, on va passer à la question suivante, c'est que euh, ils ne peuvent jamais prédire ce qui va se passer dans le jeu. Ils sortent une troupe, ils sortent un sort, euh, mais ils ne peuvent jamais prédire, prédire l'ingéniosité euh, des joueurs qui vont en faire l'usage euh, j'ai cité l'exemple du Scully Donuts je pense qu'ils n'avaient jamais imaginé euh, 
qu'un qu synthé ou qu'un Ariam, qu'un Stars ou qu'un Pro Player serait capable de faire tomber un aigle, un monolithe et un CDC avec 5 invis, 3 skulls et un rage. Ça, je pense que il, voilà, ce type de choses, ils ne, l ils ne, le, ils ne peuvent pas l'envisager. Par contre, c'est ce qui fait aussi de la magie du jeu d'avoir des génies euh, qui nous trouvent ce type de compo et qui permettent, nous, après, de refaire ces stratégies. I was just saying, saying at the end, it's the magic of this game to find some genius player, Sante, Stars, uh, Gaku, and so on, being able to take the advantage of a troops or a spell and to give us, after that, for the casual player, the way to, to work with. And that's the magi something magical for yeah. us. Absolutely, absolutely. Okay, let's go to the next question. Uh, let's, let me, um, let's do one more gameplay one and then let's go to the next category. Yeah, uh, I will take the, the best one, okay? We almost, uh, we almost worked on that, discussed on that. Ah, <laughs> we'll take that one, we'll be short. <laughs> Why, pourquoi le propulseur n'est pas enragé euh, quand il est à proximité d'une euh, tour, euh, tour runique, euh, alors que c'est un bâtiment défensif Quick question. Is air sweeper? Yeah, why the air sweeper is not raged under a, a rage tower So... A spell tower, sorry. In rage mode. What are the two... The two of the most annoying defenses are air sweeper... And Tornado Trap. Why? It's because they make players lose control of the game and they make it feel like you are getting behind on your strategy. Yeah. So now imagine how frustrating that will be if you could rage up an air sweeper tower that either fires more or further away. Yeah. Or that a would be trap. Or a tornado trap. That would be very frustrating to players. I think it'd be a little too frustrating. So we don't really like things that take away players' control. So we do it very carefully. Okay. En fait, pour pour eux, le le il y a deux défenses ennuyeuses dans Clash of Clans. C'est le propulseur et le 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 Dyson. Because the tornado trap, I'm calling it the Dyson. Because it's uh, it, it's taking all the things around you like uh, like a Dyson when you are the, when you are cleaning your uh, your uh, your house. Uh, donc le Dyson et le et le propu parce que bah, ce sont deux choses qui peuvent vous pourrir votre attaque. Qui qui n'a jamais ragé sur un blimp avec le Dyson qui se déclenche à la fin de la Kappa Warden sans aller jusqu'au TH. C'est arrivé à tout le monde. Donc ils pensent que ça serait vraiment frustrant uh, de uh, de ben, mettre encore ses défenses. Imaginez un, 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 un propulseur sous rage qui propulserait encore euh, trois cases plus loin avec le sort de rage. C'est vrai que ça commencerait à devenir un petit peu insane. So, uh, I'm just going to back to the, to the question. Ah, come on. Come on, opti. Uh, huh, this one, this one I, uh, for the gameplay, I found it a bit funny. We, we, you maybe just as, uh, comme certaines troupes uh, sautent au-dessus des murs, est-ce qu'on pourrait les considérer comme aériennes au moment où elles sautent des, des murs Est-ce que le propulseur pourrait les, les repousser Je vais prendre un exemple à, à la con. Est-ce qu'un cochon, quand il saute au-dessus des murs, bah, ne pourrait pas se retrouver propulsé par le, par le sweeper. Uh, just asking this question, you, you, you are not obliged to, to answer to. Uh, as some ground troops jump above walls, would you consider air sweeper to be able to push them away in the future? Ima just imagine in your mind, you are doing a, a mass hog attack. You put your mass hog in front of the air sweeper and because it's jumping a bit, then the air sweeper is able to push, it, uh, push them away. So no. And the reason behind that is that we want each ground and air attack to feel like it has unique challenges. If an air sweeper could do air and ground, it makes it much more difficult to either have a, a, a specifically an air attack or a specifically ground attack. Yeah. Because I can use a ground attack to beat the air sweeper, 
Mm. And if I have my air sweeper facing the other way, I can still use an air and so forth. So not every defense needs to counter every single attack. We want them to have very specific uses. Okay. Donc la réponse sera non, les cochons ne seront jamais repoussés par les propulseurs parce que les cochons sont considérés comme une troupe sol et que le propulseur repousse des troupes aériennes. We will move to the next uh, to the next category. Uh, ah, un gameplay, just a, la, a last one. In the near future, dans un futur proche, est-ce qu'il serait possible de former une deuxième armé dans son village comme dans la, euh, la comment la it's not clan capital is a builder base in the future you know currently on the builder base you can exchange your uh, your your troop before attacking we are not asking for that in a, in the main village but in the near future we will will we be able to have two army ready for example mainly in legend league because uh, in uh, Titan or Champion or Masters, you can uh, skip the village. But for example, in Legend League, in, uh, in the future, we will, be, will we be able to have two army ready for attacking a build? Could it be possible? It could be possible. We're not working on it right now. Um, but it is something that I believe... How do I say this? Uh... I think it would be a good quality of life improvement to add it to the game. We just aren't working on it right now. OK. Ça pourrait être possible. Ça pourrait être une très, très belle euh, amélioration de qualité de vie. Mais pour l'instant, ils ne travaillent pas euh, sur euh, ce euh, sujet. I take just 20 seconds. I know also that lots of people are asking for being able to do friendly challenge. Friendly challenge, I'm not saying friendly war, but friendly challenge with their uh, heroes into upgrade. I mean, you know, I'm, I'm launching my, my, my Queen 95. During seven days, I cannot do any friendly challenge because my uh, Queen is not available. So will we, will we add the ability to use heroes while they're upgrading? Yeah. That could be also a good quality of life improvement. Yeah, it could. Um, how do I explain this? As a game studio, yeah, and as a company that makes a video game, in order for us to continue developing Clash of Clans, there has to be a revenue coming in. And one of the ways we do that is that's why we offer gems in game to speed up that process. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So what we need to do is find more fun ways and more entertaining ways for players to be able to do that because we agree not being able to upgrade here or not to be able to use heroes while they're upgrading It sucks. So what we're trying to do is explore other ways that we can still maintain the game generating revenue yeah. and finding better alternatives to be able to up use your heroes while they're upgrading. No, but the, 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 the question of the French community mainly uh, is not, I want to use my heroes in Clan War, in Clan War League, in Legend League, or in a random attack while it's, it's upgrading, just in friendly challenge. I know. I know, this, it's the same answer still stands. Yeah. Ce qu'ils sont, I will translate quickly. Hein. Uh, en fait, ils, ils sont conscients, ils savent que ça pue de pas, it sucks, that's what uh, Darian said. Hein. Donc, uh, ça, ça, ça craint, uh, pour être poli, uh, de ne pas pouvoir utiliser ces héros uh, pendant qu'ils sont en, en up, même uh, quand uh, en, en défi amical. Par contre, et là, je vais utiliser mes termes, enfin, voilà, Supercell n'est pas une association de loi de 1901 et à but non lucratif. Euh, ils ne travaillent pas pour la gloire. Ils doivent générer des revenus. C'est pour ça qu'il y a les gemmes dans le jeu pour aider à améliorer les choses plus rapidement et que ça coûte quelques euros ou dollars ou ce que vous voulez aux gens. Enfin, euh, Supercell, c'est une entreprise. Ils ont des salariés à payer. Ils ont euh, des locaux. Ils ont des structures, des serveurs. 
Donc voilà, ça passe par ce genre de choses. Ce sont un éditeur de jeux vidéo. Ce n'est pas une association de loi de 1901 qui n'est pas là pour dégager des revenus. Donc oui, il y a une balance. Ils sont conscients de la chose. Maintenant, est-ce que ça verra un jour le, le, un jour, le, le jour Réponse plus tard. We can move now to the builder base and the clan capital if you want. Uh, okay, that's okay. I, I, I will uh, I will translate the, the question uh, to French. Est-ce que Supercell a une idée en tête pour uh, corriger le fait que dans le dans la MDO uh, beaucoup de gens uh, peuvent faire uh, beaucoup d'attaques uh, sans prendre de défense uh, aussitôt ou en parallèle, ce qui uh, clairement détruit le, le classement uh, de la saison à la du, le classement du de la MDO à la fin de la saison. So, we know that there is an issue on the builder base when um, people are doing several attacks and are not taking their defense straight away. Mm -hmm. And then it's, I would say, into bracket, uh, breaking the leaderboard because uh, people are then going on the top without taking the defense. I, I'm pretty sure that you are aware of this situation, but is there something forecast it to do on that or it's a non topic and wait and see right now it's not a priority okay um because of the way the builder base economy works you're not stealing loot from other players so right now it's an issue where it doesn't really affect the in-game economy all that much and right now this year is going to be primarily focused on home village we may address that issue in the future but right now it's not a high priority ok euh... donc ce n'est clairement pas la priorité de, de Supercell cette année clairement cette année la priorité de Supercell c'est info lâché par Darian le village principal c'est là où vont se situer les mises à jour cette année le the home village ok Uh, I will. Uh, what I will do uh, just to save time, I will do one giveaway for the Glovy Or in one shot, and then the the, the second T-shirt. I will do it on uh, on my Discord server to save time for you, uh, Darian. Sure. You feel asleep. You feel asleep. So <laughs> um, uh, let's I mean, go for your viewers. Yeah. Sorry, I just decided to put a piece of mango in my mouth. Um, yeah. For your viewers, I really apologize for my low energy. I just flew in from Tokyo a couple days ago, so I am very jet lagged. Yeah. Donc, And it's il... almost, it's 11.30 at night here in Finland. Yeah. Donc, il s'excuse, hein. il s'excuse d'être euh, fatigué. Darian, il est rentré de Tokyo jeudi. Euh, ce qu'il faut savoir, c'est qu'à Helsinki, il n'est pas 22h30, il est 23h30. Donc, il a totalement le décalage horaire dans la tête. Et là, pour son corps... Il doit être à peu près 4 heures du matin, donc il a un petit peu envie de dormir, c'est pour ça qu'il qu s'excuse. Euh, à la base, ce n'était pas prévu qu'il étende son, son voyage à Tokyo, mais voilà, il est là, on va, on va, on va essayer de grouper les, les questions, c'est pour ça qu'on speed up un peu. Et euh, c'est euh, euh, Alenas qui a gagné le premier giveaway. Je vais dire en français, pardonnez-moi. Pardon, eh, that's, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, Builder base clan capital, we continue. And I, I right. will summarize that for clan capital and builder base because I, it's also such a question I have. Uh, okay. Today, for example, on the clan capital, a part of the six builders in the, or the gem production, okay? Uh, and on the, on the clan capital, the fact to have the, the, the rain medals to uh, be able to fill uh, ourselves the clan, the, the clan castle, uh, there is... Uh, no link between the three modes of the game. You have the builder. I mean, today I'm only playing almost the, the, the home village. Somebody is playing only the builder base. The other one is only playing the clan capital. Are you looking for, I will not say merge the three, but are you looking for creating more interaction between each mode? I mean, Using maybe the uh, troops of the of the uh, clan capital or a defense into the main village or something like that. So eventually, we would like to add heroes to clan capital. One day, 
we would love to add more social elements to BuilderBase. Yeah. Um, in fact, when we released BuilderBase 2.0 last year, that had originally meant to be a multi-update process where we introduce, you know, the, the multi-stage system, then maybe add a third stage later on, then maybe add some more social features. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, the update wasn't as popular as we thought it would be. Yeah. So right now things are kind of on hold while we focus on making the home village much better since that's okay. where most people play. Okay. Euh, donc, euh, bon, vous avez vu ma tête quand il a parlé de l'introduction de potentiels héros dans la capitale de clan. C'est une idée qu'ils qu ont. Après, ce qu'il a expliqué, c'est que l'année dernière, voilà, la, 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 la MDO 2.0 n'a pas connu le succès qu'ils espéraient. Au niveau, de, au niveau de Clash of Clans, euh, ils avaient euh, prévu, on va dire, un multi-upgrade, euh, un planning multi-upgrade pour ce, pour ce mode de jeu. Et euh, bah, le succès n'ayant pas été là, où ils prévoyaient aussi de mettre beaucoup plus d'interactions sociales, le, le, le succès n'ayant pas été là, bah, du coup, tout ça a été un petit peu mis euh, en stand-by euh, d'un point de vue Supercell pour vraiment se refocus sur ce qu'est Clash of Clans, le village principal. Uh, let's move on the next one. Okay, it's, it's part we have deleted the one v one in builder base. Uh, so you answer that uh, for the moment the builder base is quite on hold for the upgrade and yep. not the priority. Um, now a question, and I will. It's it could be also integrated on the on the on the normal mode with the clan war league. Uh, is there any change scheduled to on the clan capital red matchmaking at high level? Donc, I, I translated French uh, first, sorry. Uh, Est-ce qu'il y a des changements qui sont prévus sur les, uh, le matchmaking des raids de capital de clan à un haut niveau? Uh, Est-ce que vous regardez à introduire des, des changements pour, pour faire le, le matchmaking uh, égal entre deux clans? Are you intending to uh, introduce a better uh, clan capital red matchmaking, because uh, especially at a high level, um, for having, I would say, two clans at almost the same level uh, during the, the red? I mean, the matchmaking is based on your clan capital's weight. Okay. So just like normal clan wars, Now, there's more involved than just weight, uh, the, the war weight, um, but it's not based on trophies. At least I'm pretty sure it's not. Um, so there isn't, I mean, it's not a competitive feature of the game. So we don't really see a need to change too much of it right now. But like the builder base stuff, major changes are going to be on hold. So right now, We don't see any issues with the clan capital matchmaking. Um, what issues are you seeing with it? Uh, for the clan capital, I don't know, but I can extend the, 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 the question, for example, on the low war league for the clan war league, where, and, and I have the case, for example, I have a, a baby clan, okay, with small account from uh, TH, uh, TH9 or 8 to uh, 13 maximum. And uh, during the week, it's not, it's not, uh, it's a, uh, a lot of time where we are we have to fight against some clan that have uh, two three four th16 in a in a crystal three for example so in the clan war league yes maybe something have to that's a request also to have a matchmaking but i'm not expert on the clan capital that's the question i don't have the the full uh, the full mindset of this question but uh, for my side i'm you know the clan capital for me it's just uh one hour every Saturday to, uh, to, earn, to make my six attack and to earn, uh, to earn uh, red medals for the Monday, right. being able to, to fill my, my clan castle by my own if nobody is connected. That's for me the only interest of the clan capital. I'm honest with you, even if I am a super creator, I really don't like this, uh, this, uh, this uh, game mode, but I know that some clans are enjoying to play this. I enjoy it. I enjoy it because for me, it feels fair because everybody has the same level stuff in your clan. It's not like one clan member has a higher level than the other. Um, yeah. Now, in terms of the matchmaking, yeah, it's based on war weight, where clan war league is based 
on your performance, your ranking. Um, each one of them does something very different. And we feel each one works for what the need is for competition. The clan war league system works better because if you're a lower town hall clan, either you've climbed too high or someone has dropped too low and then they're going to start winning again to get back where they need to be. So it's a self-balancing system. Ouais, ok. Euh, donc, pour répondre à sur, rapidement, quickly for you, Darian, euh, pour répondre rapidement sur le clan de Capitol, donc le, pour, de mémoire de Darian, il est community manager, hein, il n'est pas, euh, il est pas euh, data cruncher chez Supercell. Pour lui, le, le, le matchmaking des, euh, des, capi, des, des raids, euh, c'est sur le poids de vos euh, districts et de votre capital. Euh, donc, voilà, il ne comprend pas trop la question du, du problème de matchmaking. Par contre, comme il dit, pour le système des CWL, même si c'est pénible pour les petits clans, en fait, le système de CWL s'auto-balance et s'auto-match. C'est-à-dire que si à un moment donné, vous retrouvez un clan quasiment full T16 qui est en Crystal 3, c'est qu'il l'a fait volontairement. Mais naturellement, le clan va remonter. Oui, ça sera pénible pour vous bah, si vous tombez sur ce clan-là cette semaine-là, mais il fera que par sa puissance de frappe, bah, ce clan-là remontera. Donc la CWL est un peu un... Il, il, il s'auto-adapte, il s'auto-match, en fait, le système de CWL pour, euh, pour compléter la, la réponse de Darian. Euh, let's jump to the... Let's see, maybe... Uh, ah, this question, but we put it on all, but just see that some people would like to have clan war in builder base in the future, <laughs> but... Isn't that what raids are? Clan wars for builder base or oh, oh for builder base? I'm sorry, clan capital. I thought you meant clan capital. No, no, for builder base. For uh... it would be cool. Yeah, we'd like to do it too. Um, we just haven't found a reason to do it that makes us go, yes, we need that. Um, because if you wanted to do clan wars with builder base, just do normal clan wars. Yeah. Uh, so for now, like, if we can, if we can come up with an idea that makes absolutely like yes that is the reason to do it then we'll do it but for right now like i said this year is focused primarily on the home village ok ça serait une idée géniale de ce qu'a dit darian pour faire des guerres de clans dans le dans la dans la mdo par contre comme il vient de leur dire clairement 2024 la priorité de supercell c'est le village principal et rien d'autre euh, ok let's go uh, sorry uh, hop Uh, is, well, is it, quick, quick, it will be quick. Hein. Is it planned to introduce new rewards with the... Uh, Est-ce qu'il est prévu d'introduire des nouvelles récompenses avec les médailles de raid Par exemple, des minerais. Is it planned to introduce new rewards with the raid medal Just a stupid uh, proposal. Hein. Some ores, for example. I wouldn't say it's planned, um, but it is something being considered. The ore economy is very new. Uh, so we still need to see how adding more into the game economy will affect how quickly or how slowly people will upgrade. We know that glowy ores are where people are getting stuck at. That's the oh, bottleneck. Oh, that's um, fear. It's a nightmare. Yes, we know. So we're looking at ways to make that better, whether it's making the cost lower or adding more ore or more ways you can get ore. It's still very early analysis and it will probably be very early analysis for at least a month or two. OK. Donc pour l'instant, ils 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 y regardent après ils savent par exemple euh, et pour voir comment euh, ça peut balancer l'économie du jeu soit faire accélérer euh, les gens se maxer trop vite ou trop ralentir, ils savent pertinemment qu'en ce moment, il y a un point de blocage, c'est les minerais luisants. Euh, c'est eux le, le goulot d'étranglement par exemple pour améliorer les équipements et c'est vrai que c'est une purge euh, de farmer les, les minerais luisants donc ils sont en train de faire les analyses par exemple de ça et peut-être qu'un jour il y en aura de disponibles avec les médailles de raid, je dis bien peut-être peut-être que ça coûtera moins cher à acheter en GM, peut-être qu'ils vont augmenter les gains de minerais luisants ça c'est encore en cours d'étude Uh, let's move. Uh, I know that you have some good QOL. Will be great if lead or colleague. Yeah, uh, it's it's more a, a quality of life, and then we are entering on the quality of life. So we will start on that one. Uh, sure. It will be. Uh, I will do it in French. Ça serait bien que les chefs ou les ou les chefs adjoints, au même titre qu'ils mettent des priorités sur les villages en en, en capitale de clan, ils puissent bloquer les updates. 
I will just, uh, yeah. Uh, it will be a great improvement on the quality. It, it has been classified on base builder and clan capital, but could be done on the quality of life. Uh, it will be great if a lead or a co-lead, enfin, the leader or a co-leader, you know, we can put a priority on the building to improve, to upgrade on the clan capital. Yeah. It will be great if one day we can lock some no. upgrade. I mean, I'm, I'm, a, I'm leader of my clan. You can't imagine how I am bored to say to my team, please upgrade this building, this building, this building. And when I come back two days after, I see that I have a, sorry, I will do that, stupid <laughs> asshole, uh, which have put his uh, medals to the, the capital itself. We know. Um, you don't, how do I say this? You may be the leader of the clan, but you don't get to control how every single player plays. Yeah. And that's intentional. We want players to still have the freedom of choice for where they spend uh, to upgrade the clan capital. Now, leaders can recommend what they yeah. think should be a priority, but still, we feel it's too controlling if leaders get to choose and only choose what gets upgraded. Okay. Okay, I will translate. En fait, s'ils veulent pas, euh, je la poserai la question, Victor, et elle est dans la liste. Euh, en fait, Supercell ne veut pas verrouiller la possibilité de, de, qu'un joueur aîné ou, non, ou membre d'un clan puisse améliorer ce qu'il veut dans la capitale. Ils ne veulent pas bloquer les joueurs et laisser encore la liberté aux joueurs de faire ce qu'ils veulent de leurs ressources. Uh, I would just give you my quick point of view after. Et ils ne veulent pas que les chefs bloquent délibérément là où les euh, membres doivent mettre leur euh, médaille de, de pardon leur euh, leur joyau euh, aille se vider les joyaux là où ils euh, où ils le veulent et là où le chef le veut. I can understand what you say. Uh, I would just give you my uh, my point of view of uh, clan leader. Uh, either for the for the builder base of the home village, I can understand what you mean. Uh, everybody is free to upgrade at their own speed mm -hmm. uh, to upgrade the th the th even if he is not max or whatever. Uh, my feeling is on the clan capital, it's it's a team game. I mean, uh, if I would take an example. Uh, 10 people are putting all uh, their uh, their resources on the on the clan capital, and you are going up on a level, and then you are you are not maxed. Because my philosophy, for example, is to max everything before going on the next level. Okay, uh, it's a team. In, it's a it's a team mindset. I, I understand your view, and that's I think maybe the the the, the way of this question. It's not me who have uh, raised this question. Uh, I've raised no question, uh, and uh, I understand that you know some some uh, some clan leader can be pissed off to uh, see somebody putting uh, resources where it's not required or needed now. Just it's just a question, you know, of uh, of, uh, of temporality of time. Of course, well, and I told as as one of the co-leaders of my clan, I totally understand that is frustrating when you tell someone, make sure you upgrade this super dragon defense or the, the, uh, what's the thing that shoots out the mini minion launcher, um, or mini yeah. minion swarm. Yeah. Um, when you want them to upgrade that and they upgrade something else, I get it. It's frustrating, but <laughs> I'm, I'm not playing 50 accounts and controlling everything that they do. Yeah. I may be the co I may be the leader of the clan, but I don't own how other people play. And yeah. it basically what we want it to come down to is how well the clan interacts. If some people aren't a team player in your clan, perhaps they don't belong in the clan or yeah. they perhaps they need a better clan. Now from our end, can we give better tools to manage the clan? Yes, we okay. do need much more better tools for people to manage their clans better, but we do not want to control how people play. Okay, 
Donc, ce qu'il vient de nous dire derrière, c'est que, et je vais résumer, hein, c'est qu'il ne veut pas que les euh, chefs de clan puissent contrôler euh, comment les autres personnes jouent. Par contre, est-ce qu'ils peuvent nous donner des meilleurs outils capables d'améliorer euh, bah, ce genre de situation Oui, ils le peuvent et je pense que ça sera quelque chose qui sera, qui sera, euh, qui sera étudié dans le futur. Just for information, I've just launched the, the giveaways for the three times uh, 50 uh, Glory Horror and then we will uh, go uh, to the quality of life. To, the, to go to the, I would say, more interesting question. Uh, this one could be cool and you just go quickly I would just do it in French c'est vrai que ça serait bien et moi, je, moi le premier euh, plutôt que de taper sur son iPad ou sur son téléphone là, avec ses gros, ses gros doigts là, bah, de pouvoir faire comme les applications genre sur Discord les, 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 les messages, les SMS de pouvoir dicter un message et qu'il soit directement retrans retranscrit dans le, dans le chat it, a good quality of life improvement could be But I have a ton, a plenty of one. You know, we already discussed about that. Um, and it's not mine, but it's coming from the, from the community. It would be great, right. you know, uh, when you are, uh, I, would not, I would not say typing a short message or a DM on Discord or, or Slack or whatever, you can dictate it from your voice with your mobile phone. And then it's directly written uh, with the system. Would be great if one day we can do that. On the, on the clan chat. Just to push the button and to say bla 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 and you see the message typing, you finish and you press send. That would be great. So a voice to text yes. system? Yes. Or, yes. Or, would it, or would it play your voice? No, no, a voice to text message. I don't think we've ever considered that. That's an interesting question. Um... Ils n'y ont jamais pensé. Kind of, like uh, that's a really cool idea. I'm going to have to I will, I will share that with, with the team. You know, for example, lots of messages we were discussing together on Slack to pre on Slack to prepare this uh, this uh, this uh, this live. I was like that. Uh, Darian, the, you can have a look on this file uh, if you want to remove some question. Send. It's it could be something good. Yeah, I, I think I think that's an interesting idea. Let me ask the Clash team about it and see what they say. Okay, il dit que c'est une question intéressante et que ça pourrait éventuellement se réfléchir. That is a really interesting one. Like, I wonder how possible it, it will be. Yeah, but could be an interesting one. Yeah. Uh, Question concerning Clan War League for quality of life. Are you intending to, to extend the 30-30 to champion? No. OK, donc non. Vous <laughs> comprenez non, hein, j'ai pas besoin de vous le traduire. Donc, il n'y aura pas de Ligue Champion en 30v30. Uh, and est-ce qu'il y a aussi quelque chose de planifié pour donner plus de bonus quand on lance à 30? Ah, good question. Are you intending to improve uh, the bonus ratio when... We are launching at 30 versus 30 instead of 15 versus 15. I take the example. My clan I've launched yesterday. Uh, we are launching at 30 versus 30. Even if I'm launching at 30 or 15, I have the same bonus to distribute at the end. So three bonus because I, uh, three or four because we are uh, on master one and then oh. one per day one during the, the week. But we, if you are 15 or 30, you are not able to cover the same range of people. I know there's a reason why we said it that way, and I can't remember what it is. Um, and I wish I could remember what it is because I've been asked that question before. <laughs> Tell your audiences, I will check on that one. On If you remind me on Monday, yeah, I will, I will ask that question to the team yeah. and find out and give it to you so you can post it to your audience. Okay. But I know, there's, I know there's a reason why it's set that way and I just can't remember what it is. Il sait qu'il sait qu y a une raison, mais il ne s'en souvient pas. Donc, je lui en reparlerai lundi et il me donnera la raison et je vous la, je vous la redonnerai euh, juste derrière. Uh, let's move on. Ah, oh, come on. 
Ah, come on Au petit. Euh, oh Yes or no Alors, je peux, I will translate it. Est-ce que vous avez l'intention d'autoriser le partage de comptes ou et ou la vente de comptes Yes or no, Darian, if you want, don't want to extend. Do you intend to allow account sharing and or account selling No, never. Ok, jamais. Donc, vous ne pourrez jamais partager votre compte et en théorie, vous ne vous pouvez pas vendre vos comptes ou acheter des comptes. Euh... Ok, just a, a, a quiet remark and I will say, uh, le le, c'est vrai que le bot de modération dans le chat est quand même assez uh, uh, tricky et à un haut niveau de, de modération et c'est vrai que parfois c'est pénible de ne pas pouvoir écrire des mots qui pourtant ne sont pas uh, vulgaires, obscènes ou, uh, ou tendancieux et so I will ask the question, uh, you know on the, the bot, bot chat, chat moderation, yeah, yeah, it's quite, it's quite a bit oh. at a high level, quite high. Are you so, looking for to maybe decrease a little bit? Decrease it? No, because we do have to follow very specific laws regarding what children can be exposed to, even if they're not in a family-friendly clan. Mm -hmm. um, the, the European Union is probably one of the more strict when it comes to uh, access children have to certain things. Okay. However, our system for how it monitors for specific phrases like everything else it's not perfect and we are make we constantly make improvements to it on a regular basis but every now and then a normal word will get caught and censored by it um okay it just it just we just need to make sure like anytime someone reports why is face being censored We report it to the system and the system removes it from being censored. Ok. Après, voilà, je vais, je vais retraduire. Euh, ce qu'il faut savoir, et là, c'est ce que dit Darian, c'est que l'Union européenne est quasiment le, la zone la plus stricte en termes de ce que des euh, jeunes personnes, donc des, des personnes en, en, en bas âge, des ados ou moins, euh, peuvent voir dans un chat. Et c'est pour ça que euh, le chat, le bot de modération est un peu... On va dire à un niveau un petit peu too much. Donc, à chaque fois qu'ils se rendent compte qu'il y a des mots qui peuvent remis, être remis, on va dire, dans la circulation et dans la possibilité d'être communiqués, ils le font systématiquement. Mais c'est vrai que ça prend, ça prend du temps et c'est un système informatique enfin, voilà, où on, voilà, on met ce mot dans la whitelist et il peut être, il peut être publié. Euh, next one. Euh... Ah, yes, quality of life. You know, uh, now we are able since November to... Uh, I, will, I will do it in French. Uh, depuis novembre, on peut s'auto-attaquer. Ça, ça a été une des meilleures idées qu'ils aient pu nous mettre de pouvoir s'auto-attaquer en, en défi. Uh, c'est vrai, ce qui serait cool, par contre, c'est qu'on n'ait pas besoin, par exemple, quand je veux m'auto-attaquer, bah, de changer mon CDC défensif, de le vider, d'en redemander un, de l'utiliser pour le CDC défensif et après, bah, de revider le CDC pour me faire un CDC offensif et pouvoir faire mon attaque. Uh, the best ID maybe you have introduced for me on the last update was the fact that I can attack Protect myself. Yeah. But, there is a but, a big but in caps lock. Uh, you know, when you are sending a friendly challenge, you have to select one time your clan castle. Defensive mm -hmm. CC. I imagine, I know that my, my, uh, this base I've found in Legend League and built by myself and, uh, and I want to train it and mm -hmm. the defensive CC never changed. I have then to empty my, uh, my, my CC, make a request to have the good defensive CC, then use it, empty it again, ask for new troops to do the, the challenge. You know what I mean? Yeah. Is it possible with this good improvement and to make a next step to say, okay, I attack my challenge. I want to have in defensive Lava, uh, ET, uh, ET uh, Roots, for example, I, I don't yeah. care. And okay, I will attack this base with in my offensive CC. I don't take the one I'm using in Legend League or multi-mode. 
But I'm selecting directly what I want without spending gems or asking somebody to fill me or use my rain medal. You know what I mean? Right. Um, like I said before, anything is possible. It's just not something we're working on right now. Okay. Uh, it, it's such a small number. Yeah. Uh, that we don't see a reason to invest in it right now. It's one of those, it would be really nice to have one day. It's just not something we're working on. Okay. Ils, sont, ils, ils, ils ont, ils ont l'idée en tête. Par contre, voilà, ce n'est pas la priorité. Ils ne sont pas en train de travailler dessus. Et ce n'est pas la majorité des gens qui demandent ça. C'est vrai que je ne pense pas que tous les joueurs de Clash of Clans s'auto-attaquent leur base tous les jours. Ils, le, ils, ils connaissent le, le point. Ils connaissent l'idée. Maintenant, ce n'est pas encore en, en cours de, de développement chez, euh, chez eux. Euh, Ah, SCID, uh, Super Cell ID. You, you, so, um, you've got me for about maybe one or two questions left because I'm starting yeah. to die here. Yeah, yeah, no problem. No problem. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, I would try to take the best one. Uh, sure. I got one. Number got 51. 51? It's going to be 51. Uh, 51. So it's uh, this one. Uh, 50. You are on 51 because I have added one slide. So it's 50. Uh, can you have a Meteo event? That's that one? No, nope, the one after that. Okay. One oh, day. Wait, hold on. Uh, two after that. Okay. That, uh, I'm going to be a little bit dash, but the game repeats itself. That that one? Mm -hmm. Okay. I will translate it. Euh, salut Darian, je vais être un peu trash, mais le jeu se répète euh, lui-même encore et encore. Après le TH15, le TH16, dans 18 mois le TH17, les héros 100, etc. Est-ce que vous avez prévu quelque chose de révolutionnaire dans le, dans le jeu pour éviter cette, cette euh, répétition cette redondance dans le, dans le jeu est donc réattirée de, des nouveaux play, des, des anciens joueurs et des nouveaux joueurs. So, you have read the question, so if you can, if you want to answer. So, this is the multi-million dollar question. That yeah. we, Clash of Clans is a game that's 12 years old. Yeah. How many other games do you know that are still running online after 12 years. Candy Crush. <laughs> What'd you say? Candy Crush? Candy Crush? No, it's a joke. Oh. It's a joke. <laughs> so, how do you change what the core of the game is and still make it the same game to your veteran players? Mm. So we are looking at How do we modernize the game? Because let's face it, Clash created the time blocking upgrade system where you can either spend gems or you can wait. Yeah. Like other games have done it, but Clash is the one that made it popular. So because of that, other games have found a way to make other mechanics more fun. Mm -hmm. That's just how the game industry works. So yeah. how do we make the game feel new again by adding whether it's new features like a Boom Beach Mega Crab um, or new game modes, um, new ways to do clan wars? This is the question that we ask ourselves every single day. Yeah. Um, if there was an easy answer to it, if there was a magic bullet that we can shoot that would give us the answer every single game in the world would be doing it. There is no easy answer and there's no one answer. Yeah. We're just trying to, we'll, we didn't think when we first made Clash, it would be still going after 12 years. Yeah. So we are now asking ourselves, what's, what's something that we can create that's new and exciting and still feel clashy? This is one of the most important questions the game team has asked itself. And yeah. we're still trying to figure out that answer. 
I understand. I uh, will just translate. Yep. Uh, okay, Clash of Clans a 12 ans. Euh, comme a dit euh, Darian, y a, ils ont amené un truc que d'autres jeux ont repris et amélioré pour faire d'autres choses, etc. Ça a été par exemple le système du euh, « tu j'aimes ou t'attends ». Et euh, on est dans un jeu, and I will just uh, take the example and I will translate it to you in, uh, in, uh, in English after. On est dans un système de jeu où il y a une mécanique de jeu, où ils ont mis un mode, ils ont mis un monde en place, et euh, ils cherchent à l'améliorer sans pour autant le, le, dé, le dénaturer. Euh, ils cherchent toujours les voies d'amélioration pour donner du nouveau, du renouveau, de l'entrain au jeu, mais que ça soit quelque chose de, de clashy euh, et qui reste vraiment dans le, dans le mode de jeu. Euh, ils cherchent encore, ils se posent encore les questions, ils n'ont pas encore la réponse, ce qui est tout à fait normal parce qu'il ne faut pas dénaturer ce qu'est ce qu Clash of Clans. Demain, les joueurs qui jouent depuis 10 ans à Clash of Clans, s'ils si nous pondent un autre système, on va dire, mais c'est quoi ce jeu C'est plus Clash of Clans. Donc voilà, c'est ça. Je vais juste rapidement en dire en français, après je le dirai à Darien en anglais. Enfin, c'est comme le mec qui me dit sur FIFA, euh, putain, les mecs, j'ai commencé à FIFA 01, on est à FIFA 24, euh, putain, ça fait chier, quoi, c'est toujours du foot. Ou même exemple pour Formula One, en fait. Putain, Formula One, tous les ans, c'est la même chose, tu tournes autour d'un circuit et tu bats des autres pilotes. Euh, bah, c'est la même chose pour Clash of Clans, Call of Duty, euh, tous les ans tu tues des morts, bah, Clash of Clans tous les ans tu améliores ton HDV, euh, tu améliores tes défenses, tu améliores tes troupes. Voilà, c'est la mécanique du jeu et c'est le nom du jeu qui fait ça. I was just saying that, saying, sorry, that you know it's the same for, for example, uh, Formula One, you know, on, uh, on, yeah. on, on computer, on, on PlayStation. Formula One is existing since 20 years. Every year, it's the same mechanics. You have to drive to beat the others on the same circuit, on the same uh, mechanism, and so on. It's, but it's, the car changes every year. Yeah, the, yeah, but the car is changing every year. Sure, the rules and so on. But Call of Duty, every year, you have to kill the others. Okay, you do not have the same weapon. You do not have the same maps and so on. But Clash of Clans is a game with, I would say, Um, uh, how to say that? Uh, with a uh, an architecture. There's a million more. There's a million more random things in Clash of Clans. Now yeah. in Formula One, all the cars are trying to do the same goal. With yeah. Clash of Clans, yeah. Imagine if the cars were all driving in different directions. Yeah, 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 yeah. And. Yeah, but, you know, it's the same mechanism. In fact, you, you have to upgrade your base, you have to upgrade your defense, you have to upgrade your, uh, your heroes. You have, but, yeah, you have such a plenty of choice to make some different uh, attack strategy, breed, right. and so on, that, okay, it's, it's like a never-ending. But I understand the, the way of the question. It's, yes, it's th 15, 14, uh, 14, 15, 16, 17, plus 5 hero uh, pets. Yeah, but that's that's the game, and sometimes yes, yes, you are. You said you are looking for introducing something, but without, I would say, killing the architecture of the game and yeah. the the mentality of the game. And I guess yes, it's it's something complicated. Progr progression will always be the core of Clash of Clans. That will yeah. likely never change. We may add new features and more ways to play the game, but at its heart, it will always be about progression. Donc, ça sera toujours un jeu d'évolution. Ils, ils essaieront toujours d'ajouter des nouvelles fonctionnalités, mais ça sera toujours un jeu de progression où il faudra progresser. I will raise the last, very last question before leaving okay. you and, make, and, and doing the giveaway for the three, uh, three times uh, 50 glory, uh, glory or. Where do you see Clash of Clans in five years? Where we see Clash of Clans in five years, our goal is to bring it back to number one, baby. That is literally our goal in five, like, well, we, we can do it this year, cool. But our mission statement on the Clash team is to once again make Clash one of the top games in the world, if not the number one, for players and for content creators and for the community. Like, that is literally our goal is to make Clash number one again. Okay, donc, pour ceux qui parlent anglais, vous avez compris, mais clairement, le but de Supercell, c'est de faire de faire redevenir, parce qu'il l'a été, c'est de faire redevenir Clash of Clans numéro 1 en termes 
de jeu pour les joueurs, mais aussi en termes de création de, de contenu. Voilà l'objectif de Clash of Clans. J'ai demandé à Daryang où est-ce qu'il voyait Clash of Clans dans, dans 5 ans. Voilà, il a la réponse, c'est que Clash of Clans redevienne le jeu numéro 1 euh, de, euh, des, jeux, euh, des jeux mobiles, ce qui serait « It will be, it is a very hard, I would say, into bracket challenge for a game with, with 12 year old and it's yeah. still, and it's still yeah. uh, I would say, a quite a huge result to have still this game at this level 12 years after its creation. Put it this way. One of our youngest Supercell employees was under 10 years old when Clash first launched. What? Now they're an adult in their 20s, but that means when Clash of Clans launched, this person would have been under 10 years old. And now she's employees of... Uh, at 10 years old, she was not employees. 12, so 12 years ago. So eh, maybe it would have been about 10 or 11 years old. I'm sorry. But yeah, they, this person would have been 10 or 11 years old when Clash launched. Yeah. And now they work at Supercell. That's how long Clash of Clans has been out. Wow. Just translate quickly. Just l'exemple. Il y a une des employées de Supercell qui a dans les 22 ans. Quand le jeu est sorti, elle avait 10 ans. Et maintenant, elle travaille pour Supercell. C'est quand même... C'est quand même assez, assez, euh, assez énorme ce, cet exemple de, de Darian. Euh, je suis désolé pour le chat, on n'aura pas eu le temps de couvrir euh, déjà une toutes les questions. Il y en avait beaucoup euh, et on n'aura pas le temps de faire une session de Q&A parce que là, Darian, il est en train de, de sombrer. Euh, en attendant, je vais, I, will, I will just pick the three winners. Euh, And I will, uh, I will uh, make the, the conclusion and then I will, uh, I will uh, stop the live. Okay, Darian? It will take two minutes. I will take the first uh, winner. It will be Ben. Uh, ben Clash of Claw, you win the first 50. Alors, Ben, tu gagnes les 50 minerais lui, uh, luisant. Donc, Ben, c'est bon, je te, je te connais. No, because I know, I know lots of team. I will, euh, je vais avoir les liens, c'est moi qui vous enverrai les liens euh, que Darian me communiquera lundi ou, ou mardi. Euh, dans 5 ans ou plus, on peut toujours espérer à jouer euh, Clash of Clans en free-to-play. Tu pourras toujours MW Alpha jouer en free-to-play. Euh, le second gagnant, on va avoir Only chez oui. Alors merde, j'ai noté ça là, Ben... Chez oui, bah, that's perfect. That's two people I know directly from Discord, so no choice. Euh, il est minuit à Helsinki et il a un décalage horaire du, du Japon. Il est rentré jeudi du Japon, donc soyez un peu, un peu compréhensif. Et le dernier vainqueur des 50 minerais, c'est Yoda El Coyote. Yoda, est-ce que tu sais m'envoyer un chuchotement sur Twitch, s'il te plaît Por favore est-ce que tu peux me chuchoter sur Twitch, s'il te plaît Comme ça, je t'aurai en... dans mes messages et je pourrai t'envoyer le... le lien quand, on... quand, on le... quand j'aurai les liens de, de Darian. OK euh, Darian, just quickly, and I will do the conclusion and we will cut the live. Uh, I would like once again to thank you for spending time. I know that it's more than midnight in Helsinki uh, and you are, you are totally jet lagged. I will do it in French uh, tout de suite. Je, vais, je tiens à remercier Darian uh, d'avoir passé ce temps-là avec nous parce qu'il uh, est plus de minuit à Helsinki. Il est totalement décalé parce qu'il est rentré de Tokyo uh, jeudi. Donc, uh, je sais ce que c'est. Je l'ai fait assez souvent, les Tokyo-Paris. Uh, donc, uh, je connais le, la difficulté de se recaler quand on vient du Japon en, en Europe. Donc, je tiens sincèrement à le remercier. Je tiens aussi à vous remercier, vous, la communauté, d'avoir été là ce soir et d'avoir posé des questions. Et je vais maintenant switcher en anglais. Je laisserai à Darian le, le mot de la fin. So I was saying that thank you, uh, Darian. I know the, 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 the effect to be jet lag coming from Asia. I've done, I've done uh, Tokyo, Paris a lot of time in my career, in my professional career. So I know how it's difficult to recover the, the time when you are coming from, uh, from Tokyo to, uh, to Helsinki and or Paris. Uh, I also thank the, the community for being there this evening and, uh, and also for all the questions they raised uh, for you. And... Thank you, thank you so much, Diane, for the time My you pleasure. spent with us. 
and Thank the you. opportunity you you gave to uh, to discuss with the with the French community. I really noted some important things and. Uh, and some important information you, you gave to us. So thank you so much. Uh, see you soon on the Creator Program for a lot of stuff and an amazing 2024 uh, Clash year. Uh, I wish you a very good night and I will less, uh, give you the last word for this live stream. All right. Um, again, thank you for having me on. It's always a pleasure to talk with you, my friend. Um, I hope some of this information will be helpful to your community. Uh, and again, like I said, for those couple of questions that I didn't have an answer for, reach out to me on Monday, remind me, I'll ask the team about them. But yeah. again, as always, it's great to see you, dude. Thank you. Uh, je, vais je vais traduire. Donc euh, voilà, Darian, on me remercie aussi de, de, de l'avoir avec nous sur, sur la chaîne. C'est vrai que voilà, Darian, euh, on s'apprécie. Euh, il vous remercie aussi d'avoir passé du temps pour les questions où il manquait des, des compléments. Je le relancerai lundi pour avoir les compléments d'information et je vous, euh, je vous tiendrai au courant sur mon, euh, sur mon serveur Discord pour ceux qui veulent avoir les réponses. Sur mon serveur Discord, je vais vous faire le giveaway du dernier T-shirt. Je vous avais promis un T-shirt, il, il sera sur mon serveur Discord. En attendant, on va vous souhaiter une excellente soirée tout le monde. Merci à toutes et tous d'avoir été là. Thank you once again, Darian. And See you soon, and we will cut now the live stream now. And at the last word, clash on. <laughs>